Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and here is the CMB Made Knives Dharma. And I gotta say, it's probably my favorite CMB Made Knives yet. It is super, super impressive. Um, one, we're gonna talk about the acoustics, which are incredible. I'm not sure if they'll come over the microphone really good, but we'll go over those. And it has this really unique from Flipper. The action on this thing is insanity. It's so good. So we have M390 steel. Oh yeah, and yes, I'm all messed up, guys. Excuse my hands. It's been a real struggle the past couple days recording anything, so I'm I'm trying I'm trying to get by. But the blade steel is M390 titanium um, scales with this carbon fiber. There is four different versions. So there's the copper carbon fiber, then the aluminum carbon fiber. Um, there's different colored titaniums and an all blacked out one. So few different options. It does have a milled titanium pocket clip and backspacer, and then a steel liner lock, which works really good. Great steel liner lock. Um, now let's talk about this action because it's so good. The, the, the leverage you have on this flipper tab and the, like the, the point of which the, well, the detent strength and the leverage you have on the flipper tab, it just, it's so snappy. It's, here, let's listen to it really quick. I'm not sure if it's going to come over the mic, but it has a ching sound to it that uh, just sounds really, really good. And because of the way the detent breaks and the lever to the flipper tab, all of it blends together for a very addictive action. Uh, very addictive and uh, satisfying. <laughs> very satisfying. It puts a smile on my face. It seriously does. So, the flipper tab. Great jimping, great leverage point, super duper snappy. I mean, it just, it's not, you're not gonna fail this. Um, then you have good access to the lock bar, very smooth on the drop, almost fall shut. Like it, it's very drop shutty. Um, it's damn near a guillotine and it'll probably turn into a guillotine very soon. Then you have this hole deployment, which works great. The cutout is um, a good size, so you can easily get to it. It has a nice, a decently sharp edge to it, so it grips you back pretty good. You can go lower on it if you want to down here at the bottom, or you can go up top and they both work great. You can also thumb flick it. Oh. And because it's a liner lock, you can also do all this left-handed. So, very cool. Now, this top flipper, it's a little different. It's not, um, you know, it's not your typical fr front flipper. So, you can put your finger right on top and just kind of crank sideways, and it works good. You can kind of put it right on top and just kind of pull down, too, in a way. My, my finger's messed up, so I'm struggling right now, but... Um, you can't really do this one over the side, but you can do this one. And that one's pretty easy. The thumb flick works really good. So the front flipper works good. The reverse flicking hole works good. And the flipper works good. Now the front flipper takes a little bit to get used to because it's, you know, it's just a little abnormal. But it works good. So happy with it. And there are many other deployment options if you're not a front flipper fan. So... Um, now, you have a beautiful satin finish on this M390 blade. Beautiful drop point that's going to be super versatile for EDC. Beautiful plunge grind and choil. Not the biggest finger choil, but you can get the, the first part of your knuckle in there. Um, very comfortable in the Ergo's department. It, um, it's a good thickness, good um, width, just you know, an all-around good handle. So it's nice and comfortable. It does narrow down just a little bit. And I do feel the clip a little bit because it's on the bottom, but it's not its not a hot spot. I just notice it. Um, and like I said, I can always choke up. Doing reverse grips, you do have the flipper tab in the way, but you can still get by. Pinch grips are going to be good. Utility cuts are going to be just fine. So versatility in cutting performance, it's going to be pretty good. It does get down pretty thin behind the edge. The thickness behind the edge on this one is 
about 16,000. So 16,000 behind the edge, very thin, nice and thin behind the edge. It's going to pass through materials pretty good. The, the, the thickness of the stock or the, the blade stock thickness is a little bit on the thicker side. It's not like crazy thick, but you know, 147 thousandths is what I'm measuring it at. So it's a little bit on the thicker side, but man, does it work really good. Like I said, this thing just it puts a smile on my face every time I flip it. Um, so snappy, so, so snappy. And that, like I said, the, the lock bar access, it's nice and comfortable. Um, they put a nice amount of gripping on there. So it's easy to come from the side and disengage it. Stupid, stupid, smooth. Um, internal stop pins, as you can see. Lock up is rock solid, even with a slow roll. Uh, very, very solid lock up. All in all, I'm very, very impressed with it. Um, the carbon fiber on this looks really good. You know, it really plays with the light. There's nice big chunks of the aluminum in there. The crosscut section on the spine and the front looks really good. It's probably not going to come over the camera, but it looks really good to the naked eye. Um, the the Scales are nice and thick. It does have the steel liners on the inside, but you know, it's got a nice thickness to it to fill out the hand. And yeah, um, they did a good job on this. They did a really, really good job on this. I'm definitely impressed with their work on this one. And, you know, CMB Made Knives has, you know, impressed me with a bunch of their models. So they've done a great job with a lot of their models. Uh, but this one stands out to me just a little bit more than some of the other ones. So, yeah, well, um, definitely uh, watch out for CMB Made Knives. They are coming out swinging. Now, I do not know the knife designer of this i see his logo but i do not know who that is yet um i'll have to do some research on that but anyways everything will be linked down in the description for you guys i love you guys thank you guys for watching peace